Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am vlogging this weekend. Today is the day that I'm gonna be cleaning this house, like deep, well, no, let me, that's dramatic. I'm not deep cleaning. We've only been here uh, just over two weeks. The house is not at all dirty, but it just needs a good old cleaning. So like, I'm gonna touch all the bathrooms today. I'm gonna to mop the floor downstairs and get my beauty room together and there's other things like put some clothes away organize that um i'm gonna show you my beauty room it's okay <sighs> you guys this room okay <clears throat> let me just show y'all all right you guys here is the state of my room so far actually let me come over here because i don't want to have to show a view from the window but okay so I know, right? Okay, so I have makeup, eyeshadow palettes, makeup here that needs to be organized in these drawers. And I get asked about these drawers a ton. They are from Ikea. Um, I forget the name of them, but I'll link them below. They're still available. They come in three colors. I love them. I keep makeup in them. I do keep other like odds and ends in there, which is kind of what this situation is here. Like index cards that I use to write scriptures on highlighters a little just odds and ends stuff like that over there are books that go on that bookshelf right there so we're going to get that together um yeah i have these pictures that i had hanging up in my old room at the old house you guys probably will recognize those the thing is we don't want to i don't want to punch holes in the walls just yet but these aren't like 3m strip friendly so yeah um and then essentially my backdrop my new backdrop will literally be the plant in the door like i wanted to film this time around with a really clean aesthetic background and nothing too kind of overwhelming um but the room itself i think is going to end up staying like this my vanity over here i still have to put up the mirror right here um my clothing rack there i still kind of have to organize some of that stuff there i don't think it'll be too much to tackle because the piles are somewhat organized but i'm very meticulous so this may take a little bit and then in the closet in here turn on the light i have just extra like clothes y'all okay clothes clothes y'all I have too many clothes it's official i understand this and this is why i've kind of gone back and forth about selling on poshmark because so as i was saying i've gone back and forth about selling on poshmark because i have too many clothes like i, I knew i had a lot of clothes i knew you know and i like having nice things i like being able to shop I like being able to have oppor opportunity options but i didn't realize until we moved and everything that i had had to come with me that I have a lot of clothes and stuff that honestly I just don't reach for things that are too big things that I feel like just aren't my style anymore and I have to get rid of them there are things I'm absolutely donating um and then there are things I'm just going to sell because they're nice they got tags on them somebody else could absolutely love them use them wear them whatever so that's again another thing on the list kind of create my Poshmark pile and then eventually I'm going to have a video and I'll feature a video of what I'll be selling over there eventually just one thing at a time though this I want to get this room together and then tackle just the cleaning um, I'm going to be washing our bed sheets today um y'all should show you the new washer and dryer we got I told you guys I believe in Oh, maybe I didn't so a family member blessed us with a new washer and dryer like brand new GE profile like high-end washer and dryer I have been loving it um, I'm gonna go show y'all that downstairs and then um, there's other just little odds and ends to do um, like I said I'm gonna wash all the wash <laughs> I'm going to clean all the bathrooms and again it's just the two of us so cleaning the bathrooms just means like wiping down everything um mopping the floors oh i was gonna show you guys a washer and dryer so this is the washer and dryer we were blessed with love 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 this for so many reasons so first it's like soft clothes love that for us and then it has just a lot of great options features definitely definitely um really really blessed to have something like this and it's been going really great i had to kind of play with it a little bit because you can also start it from your phone which I haven't really done yet because you still have to load the washer and dryer and then to start it from your phone after you're actually present with the dryer you know washer so 
yeah um haven't done that but one thing i do love is that it is connected to my wi-fi i hooked all that up so what happens is i get a notification when like it's five minutes and it's done or you know things like that kind of where it's at in the cycle so i've been really loving them uh they're definitely a blessing in here i guess i should show you guys the state of this room just a hamper and i have our cleaning products down here um eventually i'm gonna see if we can do shelving up here i'm a little short <laughs> compared to my husband so having shelving up here we'll need to figure out what that looks like but right now it's working just fine to have the stuff down here in these kind of in this clear plastic bin that's been working and then i just gotta mop our floors i don't know if you can tell you can a little bit like they get a little dusty oh and let me show you guys i showed you this over on instagram in my stories the keurig i had got you guys i have been loving this keurig it is so bomb it also connects to my wi-fi um with the app i can start a cup of coffee from my phone anywhere in the house of course i just have to have the cup there and the keurig um cake up in there but i love this for many reasons especially because it came with a frother but the frother also froths the milk cold like i don't know if i showed you guys i had an espresso at first the virtual virtual one i'm sorry i'm probably saying it wrong but i had that one and it came with a frother but you could only froth the milk warm or hot this one allows you to froth it cold or hot you know because if you want to make cold coffee you don't necessarily want warm frothed milk you know all that stuff so i've been loving this love 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 it i'll uh, link it below and then here is <laughs> oh i've been like having my makeshift coffee this is actually a vase from target that i thought i was gonna put on the front console table um and i just decided to kind of use it as a hodgepodge way to kind of store my k-cups let me tell y'all something this flavor what is this can't if it'll focus italian roast from starbucks you guys this coffee is so strong and i love coffee and i like coffee that where i can still taste the coffee in my coffee even though i like a little razzle dazzle this here though whew, that is some strong coffee so until i figure out a different kind of method of how i want to store my k-cups they're in there and i don't really hate it i think it's kind of cute again i want pops of gold in the house so there's that so yeah i think we're going to get started i guess i also could give you guys an update of the house like the last video you would have seen would have been the empty house tour but i will give you guys an update of the house because we're in the kitchen right now and i guess here we are um dishwasher microwave stove fridge i have been loving these uh they're frigidaire love 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 them haven't had any issues um we still need some bar stools here i'm being very very picky and selective about what i'm getting because i don't want to just get anything just to say i got something and throw stuff just any old kind of way i really want stuff that makes sense and stuff that actually works for us you know and i'm not going to rush the decor process but i do want to obviously two bar stools here and i want them either to be like a cream with gold legs something with gold of course detail at the bottom on the legs something like that i did see some like wired gold bar stools i think it was on amazon um i did love them i just wasn't sure how comfortable they were going to be um so we'll see and then eventually i want to get like a little table here i've seen something on amazon where the the table is like square and the chairs are like almost like bar stool chairs and so when you're not seating or sitting in them or on them you can push them underneath the table and so it kind of saves on space and all of that good stuff so i kind of want something like that here because we need a little something here i just want to make sure aesthetically i find what works for this space because it's not super large and i don't want it to be a table that takes up too much space where there's not enough room to kind of walk around and get to where you need to go in the front here is one of my favorite purchases so far this is kind of what our front entryway is looking like right now it's not at all not at all where i want it but again a little bit at a time so these two vases were purchased at uh target this little gold do that thing walmart i think like eight bucks or something like that this black console table is target i'm gonna link these things below as long as everything is still available because be honest with you guys 
when I knew we were moving, knew we were building, I was too excited and I started buying things here and there last year for this house and I bought those two vases last year from Target. So, but I think they're still available, I think. If anything, they'll be probably on sale. Um, if they are, um, these two wicker baskets at the bottom got those from Target. I know those are still available, so I'll link those below. But I got them because I think what I'm gonna end up doing is putting like blankets in one, socks for when people come over in the other. Um, I didn't want them just for decor, I mean, they're for decor, but I want them to actually have a purpose, so that's what those will be for. And eventually, I wanted to do a mirror here, but my husband feels like we don't need a mirror there because we got a mirror in the bathroom. Which kind of makes sense, I get it, because I wanted this to be a place where like if you need to a last look in the mirror, whatever, okay. But I think for sure I'm gonna do some sort of picture situation. I'm not gonna probably keep both of these vases here and I'm, pro I'm probably gonna keep the taller one. And out of the taller one, I want like a, either like a eucalyptus, leafy type of plant, nothing too high, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm gonna put, you know, just like some faux books. Um, something just i have to show you guys a picture i'll probably insert a picture of kind of what my design pinterest inspo inspiration is i don't know like i love farmhouse things but also like modern i don't like anything too girly yeah so <laughs> there's that the bathroom so this is again simplistic i haven't even got a toilet paper holder thing yet because again i want a gold one um, we have a gold soap dispenser. I got that one from Target. I'll link that below. Kind of a paper towel holder thing. Got that from Target. Link it below. Gold waste basket. I don't know if you guys can see. Yep. Got that from Target. Obsessed. Um, so yeah, um, this bathroom is decent for now. Like I told you guys in, I think my open house, open house, empty house tour. Um, I want to be able to do this eventually with like, wallpaper something really dope nothing too girly but yeah but that will come in time we're not rushing i'm not rushing to do anything um right now because you know we got time over here is our living room this is real life so these are clean clothes i have to fold today uh this is a couch that we had in our basement of our old house and it has worked out so so good up here um the ottoman we can keep it opens up and so we have extra blankets in there so we have to tweak some things. Eventually we're gonna get a bigger TV and then we're gonna mount the TV on the wall. Um, so yeah, um, I want to do like um, another like little faux nice plant in the corner or something. I have to see, I haven't really done like any type of Pinterest inspiration for this room yet. But again, the color schemes are gonna be like brown, black, neutral tones. So let's get started. I am actually, oh, I can show you guys the pantry as well. Nothing too crazy here. Um, I need to get more paper towel. That's the other thing. I may have to run to the store today to get some groceries. But I tried to organize this at least right now for what makes sense for us. Um, I may end up tweaking it more. But I have oil, seasonings, condiments, pastas, kind of like some doodads there, chips, Welch's fruit snacks. I tried this flavor, guys, to, to try something new. I don't like it. I like the purple kind the best. This is why they're sitting there. This is why they're sitting there. Um, you know, more chips. My water. If you know me, you know. This is the water that I drink. We get it ordered from Amazon, but Amazon can't find us right now because we have a new built home. And our address is not coming up in Google for anyone just yet. So we're navigating that. But yeah, I keep my broom in here for right now. Um, I don't know if I'll keep that in there going forward, but for right now, it's just easily accessible in there. So um, I'm gonna get started on the bathrooms. It's actually, what time is it? 8.16, I've been up for about an hour. Um, and I want to kind of get up earlier than I normally maybe would. Like on Saturdays, I definitely try to sleep in as much as I can, as I can, especially considering the last few weekends have been insane. All good but just very busy um, and this is one of the first Saturdays I can actually sit relax do nothing I don't have any plans I don't want to go anywhere I'm not planning on going anywhere I, we may have to go to the store to get groceries but I, oh and then I have to go um, to get the cleaner for the floor so there's a specific cleaner the builders told me to use um, so that I don't damage the floor so I ordered it from Amazon but again because Amazon can't find us I had to have it delivered to a friend's house so I'm gonna go over there which is not literally up the street I'm gonna go grab that when it gets delivered to her house but literally that's all 
I'm planning to leave the house to do. Um, so yeah. So you guys, I'm in Kroger. It's so funny when you have to get used to a new store. I'm in a Kroger that I've never shopped at before. That's literally down the street from our house. But um, I've never been here before, so I have to get used to their setup. And it's just really, it's different. Um, I didn't plan on coming here right now, but here we are. Okay, so I wanna try a different flavor K-cup, because I told you guys the ones at the house, the Starbucks kind, are incredibly strong. And I wanna see if I can get a different one. I don't do decaf coffee though, like what's the point? Chocolate glazed donut, oof, father. I don't know if you guys do this. One of the things that helps me sometimes decide should I get something or not is to see how far back on the shelf it is. Like as if, oh, a lot of people have bought this one. So maybe it's good. So like this one, look. This Duncan, again, I'm not doing decaf. But how far back this is, I'm assuming maybe it's popular. So I think I'm gonna grab this one. Uh, wow, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Oatmeal. Have you guys tried this? I love the cereal. Mm, I don't know about that though. You guys, they have it. Oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all something. That's probably the last time I'm gonna come in this Kroger. First of all, the store itself was clean, but if you know me, I don't do poor customer service. So like, there was nobody at the register. Like only thing that was, and it's, what is this? 9, 12 a.m on a Saturday. The only thing they had open was the self checkout line and the, and no other lanes were open. And yet you have like, I guess they had like regional people there or like a head up, you know, head in the company there. So they're walking around, you can hear them talking. And I'm like, but you got a line as long as the store is wide. What do y'all, like, if you work for the company, I'm sure you know how to run a register. You can't, <sighs> nothing burns my biscuits more than poor customer service because it doesn't have to be when you got people waiting in line you can stop what you're doing and service your customers i don't understand why this is complicated like and this is not a, a patience issue this is not like all oh, stuff you probably should just get give, give them some time no 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 i can be patient because i've worked in retail i've worked in customer service and this is why i feel this way because I know that it doesn't have to be this way. And I know what it is to have customers wait and you don't, like I, I, I'm I bothered for the people who are still in line because you got you got 10 registers. And I know um, one of the ladies, I think she was a manager worker or whatever. She said, yeah, we had a couple call offs today. Okay, but you're still a physical body that could get behind a register and service the people that are here. And you worried about how your display is set up, but you got people in line waiting. Like you got, you had a lady in front of me, God bless her. She had probably like a full, she did her weeks of shopping of groceries. She did her full grocery shopping and she has to use a self checkout line. She got to a point where she was like, um, how do I do this? Like it's not letting me even scan anymore. Cause I've filled up the count. Like, come on y'all. We just, we got to do better. And I, yeah, you have to forgive me again. I, I loathe poor customer service. And I've said this before. I said in my event, uh, when I had my speaking engagement in Lansing this past Monday, one of the things I said, um, if I ever did another business venture, which mm, mm, praying about it, I don't know, we're going to see, I would love to do like a customer consulting business for businesses where I would train their employees, their company, whatever about the simplicity, but the, com yeah, the simplicity of customer service because it's not complicated. We make it complicated by just doing the things we think is right instead of considering the customer first. But that's another conversation. We could be here all day because, I, okay, let's get home. I didn't get a lot of groceries, but I got something to make breakfast. All right, you guys, we are back from the store. I didn't even, that was so random. I didn't even plan on going to the store in that moment, but then when I thought of what I wanted, and I'll show you. Um, so I got the English muffins because I'm gonna make some eggs, sausage, and English muffins with, you guys, you guys, this is so good. If you've ever been to, I get this wrong every time, low Texas, 
It's not Logan's. Which one is it? Texas Roadhouse. I'm convinced Texas Roadhouse when they have that uh, they have their rolls with the like cinnamon honey butter. You guys, I got three of them because I'm gonna put two in the freezer. Oh, it's so good. And to know me is to know I want sweet, something sweet, especially at breakfast. I, I love sweet, savory, salty, sweet. Like that's where I live. And I always, always want something sweet with breakfast. So yes, give me eggs, give me sausage, bacon, whatever, but give me waffles, give me some pancakes, give me something. I just always want a little something sweet. So I'm gonna make some eggs with sausage and just some English muffins with a little bit of that butter stuff on there. I um, got my favorite chips, these are my favorite chips. I, I'm embarrassed to say I killed a whole bag of these yesterday. A whole bag, yeah. Um, just got something to drink lemonade things like that so I'm gonna make breakfast and check back in y'all yeah. oh spinach oh you guys can I I can't recommend these enough I got these plates they're a hard plastic obsessed though got these for, from Target they're like 50 cents or something like that something absurd i love them i got the plates i got the bowl version and they come in black a lavender kind of color um i, I want to say like a bluish green kind of one they wash fantastically in a dishwasher i love them especially considering they're so inexpensive i don't care if like guests use these you know opposed to like paper plates but I recommend these. I think they're fantastic. They're like a good hard plastic. I haven't had any issues with them. Just for something quick, easy, that's not super fancy, but that's not necessarily paper plate. I'll link these below though. Like I said, they come bowl form too in a cup. Oh, cup. I'm sorry for the lighting. This is the cup form. They're really tall, obviously. Really nice size. I got, I think, 10 of these were like 50 cents as well like uh, the plates might have been a dollar no whatever it is i'm gonna link it below but these are just great little easy inexpensive staples to have for the house um garlic powder garlic powder goes in everything for me everything on fries and eggs like you know you know, you know. <laughs> all right here is breakfast oh i'm so excited about to make my coffee and one of the things i love again about this keurig is that it can tell you and it tells you the actual k cup that's in there it gives you the recommended um way to make it if you want i just love this thing so we're gonna make our coffee i'll give 12 ounces because i want all of it yeah and i got these from amazon i'll link these below too right i just finished breakfast it was so good just what i wanted i'm gonna put a little bit of groceries away and then i'm gonna get started with laundry down here so it looks like and this is one of those that you're supposed to you can either nail it or it has some crazy adhesive here let me see why am i nervous okay ah! it's even thank god i love it because i actually don't let me show you Okay, here it is. I love it. Um, it's up, tucked away, underneath the cabinet. It's really nice. I'm gonna link it below. Y'all, yeah. okay. Uh, 
this is the space that's gonna take me the most time the bathrooms i'm gonna knock out that's not gonna be a problem <sighs> yeah but I, I need to do this so we're gonna start doing this all right you guys so in this space um structurally i think things are fine like vanity is over here book shelf rolling rack uh rack chair i think all of that is fine i don't think i need to rearrange any of that i think this is aesthetically how i want the room um because of the window being here i'm gonna be filming against this side of the room i'm sure i can tackle this room today that's the goal because then i want to move on to the bathrooms um and if i don't finish this whole room today no i'm not gonna say that we're gonna finish this room today Whoa. so i put a good dent in this floor um i put all of my makeup away i still have little things to put put away i think i underestimated how long this was going to take i want to wait to put the books and all my bibles and notebooks and journals on the bookshelf until i adhere it to the wall and i need a screwdriver we don't have a screwdriver so i have to wait on that this is just a trash bag i'm gonna take downstairs so and then i gotta put the mirror it's right here on the wall but i don't have any 3m strips right now so i need to get that when i go to target i'm a little hungry i don't know why i had a really good full breakfast um maybe i'll drink some water i haven't drunk a lot of water today and i am a i'm a water drinker maybe that's what it is because i want something but not really i think it's just dehydration i'm gonna drink some water i get so tired sometimes i've shared this before like i deal with low blood all that type of stuff and one of the symptoms is um chronic fatigue and so sometimes i just get really tired and i crash throughout the day like clockwork every, around this time every time it, right now it is 121 um so i may take a quick nap um because i did get the notification that my the cleaner for the floors that i ordered through amazon that's going to my friend's house should be here between 1:45 and 3:45. It is um, later in the day. It's about what time is it? It's 4:52. Um, I'm about to tackle the floors, and I'm gonna take care of the bathrooms. Um, I still have a little laundry going. Finished. I got all the bathrooms clean. Um, I mopped the floor. Laundry is done. So I really kind of knocked out everything I wanted to. Now my beauty room, I just kind of got to tweak um, a few things. But yeah, happy I've gotten everything done. I think I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow for church. What's up, you guys? Good morning. Um, I'm tired, y'all. Um, I slept okay, but I'm just tired. I don't know why, but um, it is 9 12. I am getting ready for church. I'm talking quiet like somebody else is here, um, but also you would have seen in the clip before this that I have an old school, like, oh, uh, pressing comb stove. My grandmother gave it to me. Oh gosh, um, some years ago she moved to Arizona and she gave it to me before she moved and so I use it, use it. Let me take this off. I've already had a shower, did my skincare routine. Um, I don't know what I'm about to wear to church. Child. So I think for my hair, I don't, I don't really feel like doing much of anything today. I just wanna be comfortable. Um, I'm not gonna even really do much makeup. I think I'm gonna just do some up, like fix up my brows and then do some just concealer like spot concealer over my face L literally that's it um i think for my hair um i'm gonna lay down these edges and i think i'm gonna just do like a sleek ponytail to the back but i'm really excited because ch at church um, we only have one service um i know some churches have multiple morning services we just have one at 11. my pastor has been teaching on uh demonology and y'all this is a study and this is a topic I feel like everyone should be fully aware of and aware is not the word educated on educated on is 
the better word. Because while there were things I was aware of, understood prior to his teaching, one of the things I have been very understanding of is the renewed mind and having a renewed mind is something we should be pursuing daily. This is not just a one-off thing. This is not just something like, okay, we read our Bible. Okay, great. Like, you know, no, no. And this is something God has really had me, has been hammering home with me, having a renewed mind and pursuing that. It's getting hot. Let me open this window. Having a renewed mind and really, um, pursuing it daily but understanding that having a renewed mind is one way not just the only way but one way that keeps you another step ahead of the enemy you know when you lack having a renewed mind and understanding that the enemy one has no power over us he only has the power that we allow him to have and if we're not careful when he says things to our mind and he speaks to our mind and he lies to us which is what he does if we're not careful and we lack having a renewed mind, the things he says will sound and seem like our own thoughts. You know, I, I, I shared something on Instagram the other day that said, um, I'm, I'm gonna get it wrong. Basically it said, the enemy will lie to us in our, basically our tone of voice. That's not it, but that's basically what it said. You know, and it's so true. And if you don't have a renewed mind and if you're not aware of what the Bible says, so that you know what God wouldn't say and what he would say. I have been thoroughly enjoying this teaching at my church and I've been actually learning so much privately from the things, I'm trying to comb out this hair, um, privately from the things God has been sharing with me in my own time because, um, you know, he's definitely highlighted things in my life that I just need to get free from and delivered of. Um, all of that, understanding and the things he's been walking me through along with the transition of a new home and the season that we're in of a new beginning and him making all things new y'all you know and I've been so grateful for that portion of the season the all things new part the nice the new the shiny the but that only is cute for so long and um I'm still very much in a, in a season of transition and a season of deliverance and growth and healing in a lot of ways that I know I'll share more in detail soon. You know, a lot of times, you know, we hear people say, oh, this is a new season, it's a new beginning, you know, all glory to God, which is absolutely glory to God. This is not the right column to comb this out. Um, let me put that in. But we don't talk about how him making things new also comes with a lot of change and a lot of the things that you were once used to not being what's maybe good or best for you anymore. Or, you know, having to say no and move on in this new season, leaving things that you were comfortable with behind. And so I am in a very exciting, but it's almost like, you know, when you have a wound and the wound is very sensitive, sensitive sensitive i feel like i'm in a very sensitive place sensitive in a, in a not at all in a negative way sensitive in having to be sensitive all the more to his voice um being sensitive all the more uh of having discernment and then carefully stewarding um this season but i'm gonna finish getting ready and i will catch you guys once i figure out what i'm wearing to church all right you guys this is what i have decided to wear the bodysuit is from Skims. I have this also in like that bright hot pink you guys would have seen on Instagram, Obsessed. Um, simple jewelry, watch bangles from Target. My hair is not doing what I wanted to today, whatever. But yeah, I'm comfortable, it's cute. Not really what I wanted to wear. I say this every Sunday, y'all, I wasn't kidding. But yeah, let's go. What's up you guys, I am back home. 
we had a time at church today church was so good um but i'm gonna get out of these clothes put on some comfy clothes because i feel a nap coming on like if you know anything about an after church nap on sunday i actually think what i'm gonna really do is change but then get started get started editing this video I know the secret is to make the cookies one minute less than the packaging, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is the situation in our other guest room. These are all clean clothes, but they're clothes that I either um, need to donate sell or put away so like here is a huge pile of workout clothes um so i think i'm gonna fold those up put them on the rack of my closet actually let me show you in our closet let me turn the light on i have started organizing uh, my closet which still needs a little tlc so up here i have graphic tees uh sweatpants that I'm obviously not gonna be wearing right now because it's trying to be warm. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I put a little dent in this room. Not much, I'm tired. <laughs> um, and I just wanna eat and just relax for the rest of the night. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. All the things, be here for this journey. I'm excited about it. Love y'all.